Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have something unbelievably awesome to take a look at today. We have something I have been waiting a very long time to check out ever since I had entered the initial piece of their collection into my collection. We have a Jurassic Justin model, and as you can see this time we have a cinema collection release, a limited edition exclusive series. You can see the box art is super cool on this. I love the fact that we have kind of like some really cool outlines of some dinosaurs and stuff and pterosaurs and things of that nature. If we bring it down, actually let's flip it over. We take a look here at the top of the box. You can see the Jurassic Justin logo right there, as well as the cinema collection logo, which obviously sports that beautiful Jurassic Park type of a look to it. And you can also see exclusive series limited edition up here. And then when we actually check out the back, now we have all sorts of information on the release. Obviously, you could tell this is the Scorpius Rex. And this is the adult. It states that right there. He is making an adult, of course, and a sub-adult. The sub-adult will release later. You can also see over here, again, what is included. You have an articulated figure, a display base, a certificate of authenticity, and each cinema line figure is designed, 3D printed, painted, and assembled by Jurassic Justin. And we have Jurassic Justin's signature down here. You can also see a look here at basically what he has planned for the different lines in the cinema series line. And then quite a bit of information up here as far as you know the inspiration behind the cinema line it basically says throughout the history of film the dinosaur has been portrayed in countless forms regardless of scientific accuracy or definition with the imagination of each generation adopting a new image of what they visualize when they hear the word dinosaur the cinema line respectfully so is dedicated to those images that have inspired creativity aspirations and admiration within those who cherish and embrace the way a dinosaur has been introduced to them more specifically on the silver screen. And then we yet again have the Jurassic Justin logo down there. I'm not sure what we've got on the side of the box. So basically just some really cool torches and kind of like a rocky type of a look. Let's go ahead and check out the other side. And then same deal for the other side of the box. I don't know if the underside is anything. So basically the same thing again with the cinema collection and everything. So I am really, really excited to get this out. Been looking forward to this for a very long time. So let's pop this box open and check out our Scorpius Rex. And then once we open it up, you can see we have, again, the certificate of authenticity inside. You can also see that we have an item number there as well as yet again, Justin's autograph. And then down here, we've got a whole bunch of little peanuts, I guess you could call them, in here. So let's see, I think I can see the foot there of our Scorpius Rex. We'll try to pull the figure out here without getting too many of these guys out and all over the place. Well, I just dropped the base back in, but we got the Scorpius Rex out. And then we make another attempt at getting the base out correctly. And then we'll close the box here and remove this from the area so we can bring the figure back in and open it. So straight away we have our base as well as a rod there that you can use to help display your figure. And you can see the base basically has the when dinosaurs ruled the earth banner down on the ground and you can see a nice earthy area around it. This basically recreates the scene where you see the Scorpius Rex inside of the visitor center briefly in Camp Cretaceous. So Really cool throwback to, of course, Camp Cretaceous. The only time that the Scorpius Rex has ever appeared in any Jurassic series would be, of course, in Camp Cretaceous. And uh, again, perfect base, I would say, for a really, really beautiful figure. I am just so blown away by how high quality Jurassic Justin's releases are and the overall presentation and everything with it. Like, it looks like it was produced by a major figure releasing company. But it was actually all done by Justin. That's just crazy to me. And here is our unbelievably beautiful Scorpius Rex. Like that is far and away with no doubt in my mind the best Scorpius Rex that we have ever had from anyone. And probably is going to be the best Scorpius Rex that we will ever see. This thing is unreal. Like when it comes to capturing the likeness of the Scorpius Rex from of course, Camp Cretaceous, it is so spot on, it is ridiculous, and the entire sculpt is super highly detailed. The figure has a very nice weight to a really high quality feel. Might be one of the highest quality feels I think I've ever had for any figure that's articulated like this. So 
I am beyond psyched to get a closer look at this, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Scorpius Rex, look at how perfect that is when it comes to, again, replicating the Scorpius Rex from Camp Cretaceous. Like, that is just unbelievable. Look at the really nice scale detail, super fine scale detail you see there in the palette area. Again, really fine scale detail there under the eye. Lots of really nice creasing and wrinkling there under the eye. And uh, again, a little bit of a larger scaling skin texture type of a look the further back toward the you know neck region you get as you lead down toward the jawline. Again, the skin texture honestly looks amazing and he's given it some beautiful paintwork throughout. You can see the nostrils right there. We also have a really nice kind of a dark blue for the majority of the body as far as like pretty much the major tone of color on this I would say would be that dark blue but you can also see it super smoothly transition there to a black around the eye socket area and then as you lead down you have a nice dry brushing highlighting some of those scales and then as you move down a little bit further you can see like a pinkish tone as you get closer to the jawline and again a nice white tone some more of that pink kind of falls back here along the jawline and then here on the underside as far as the lower jaw you can have that nice off white that's been beautifully dry brushed over a kind of like a brownish tone so you have quite a bit of different color variation included on the face of this figure and as you move back up you can see the eyes are painted really nicely we have a very nice dark red and then a yellow and then a black slit like pupil and it all has a really nice gloss coat so it shines quite realistically quite naturally as you move a little bit down you can see the teeth and they are pretty you know hectic looking because of course this is a genetic freak created uh, just to I guess terrorize some kids beautiful looking teeth the coloration is perfect for them as well with a nice kind of like a uh, off-white and you can see almost like some shades of browns included in there as well as a very nice gloss coat so the teeth shine like real teeth would just loads and loads of realism added to this figure of course we have an articulated jaw and boy can that ever open really wide if you take a look here at the inside of the skin flap here of the mouth you've got some really nice sculpting and detailing in that area as well as some beautiful paintwork we actually have like pinks purples and even some brownish tones in there and that as well has a really nice gloss coat and then as we turn the figure over here we get a look inside the mouth again when i say it's highly detailed that is no joke look at that detail in there super super highly detailed that is absolutely ridiculously beautiful looking detail and you can see the tongue is sculpted on the inside of the mouth very very nicely you've also got again some purplish and pinkish tones it looks like we have a purple and then maybe like a pink wash has been applied to add just again some more color variation and some more realism to the inside of the mouth and then everything is tied together beautifully with that nice gloss coat and then again, taking a look here at the lower jaw, you can see the teeth look super nice. Again, really nice, really precise paintwork on the outside of the teeth as well as the inside of the teeth. It's all incredibly well done on this Scorpius Rex. Just fantastic from every angle. Again, when you look at it over here, look at how realistic and beautiful not only the sculpt is, but the paint. Boy, he really has outdone himself. I was impressed with the initial Dimetrodon. I am blown away by this Scorpius Rex. As you lead up here to the top of the head, you can kind of see like some scoots running up and over the snout heading toward the center of the head. And as we reach that area, of course, you can see some more really nice scale detail, but you also start to see the quills picking up here on the top of the head of the Scorpius Rex. You have quite a plethora of quills up here on the top of the head and Jurassic Justin has sculpted those out beautifully as well. Again, you can see different, you know, positioning for pretty much every one of the quills. So looking exactly like it looks in the, again, Camp kind of Cretaceous show. As you move along, you see more really nice scale detail. And he's done a great job of adding in some nice dark tones and then highlighting the scale detail with a nice dry brushing. So it looks super nice in the detailing really stands out as you move down the course of the figure you see some very large kind of osteoderms picking up here and there as well as again some fantastic scale detail kind of like some skin wrinkles and skin creases the throat looks awesome as well really nice skin texture as you move down the course of the throat and that brown wash or uh, maybe it's the light dry brushing I'm not sure how he's applied it but it really makes the skin texture of that area pop beautifully as you move down a little bit further again you continue to see how lifelike and how realistic the 
paint job is on this figure as well as again this kind of armored look that you see running along the back of the Scorpius Rex. It picks up here in the back of the neck right after the quills and as you continue to move along he's even dry brushed that area out really nicely. Really light dry brushing just enough to highlight all of the insane amounts of detail that Jurassic Justin has put into this. So many hours of work I'm certain have gone into this sculpt and it really pays off here on the final product. You can just see looking at it again how long it must have taken to sculpt this out and get everything so picture perfect. He really is delivering some of the best Jurassic type collectibles that you will ever see in your entire life and I am a hundred thousand percent sure on that. You can again see lots of really nice scale detail through the course here of the side of the figure as well as some more osteoderms and stuff picking up here and there. Very large osteoderms, sometimes a bit smaller, sometimes a bit larger. You've got lots of difference in those as well. Some more kind of skin wrinkling and stuff here in the stomach region. Of course we can articulate the arms forward to get a better look at everything. Really smooth transition again from the bluish tones to the coloration of the underside. As you lead back here into the arm, you can again see a cluster of, you know, scales, kind of like osteoderms and stuff mixed in right there in the top of the arm. As you move down a little bit, you have some really nice definition to the arm, some nice muscle definition. Again, some more really nice looking scales. As you move down a little bit further, you've got the elbow right there, as well as more of those quills hanging off of the back of the arm. This is almost like a very reminiscent of an Indoraptor with the way that they've created this and you can again see some more beautiful scale detail leading down the arm and of course the hands are incredible looking really nice detail moving down the course of the hand super creepy looking fingers the nails are painted really beautifully they start with a black and then transition to a really cool variation of blue the further out toward the tips of the fingers you get and just in general through the entire course of the arm and down into the hand you can see different variations of blues and blacks that just make everything pop so nicely and you can even see that the palms of the hands are super nicely done really really nice looking detailing down here that have all been again painted masterfully by Jurassic Justin as you lead back up here into the back of the dinosaur again you see that that armored type of a look continues as you move down over top of the hip region moving down here into the hip area you can pick up on the hip bone kind of elaborated from the skin right there again some more super vibrant scale detail as you lead down into the thigh the thigh looks massive honestly really muscular exactly as you would expect it to look it's pretty much exactly as it was portrayed in Camp Cretaceous so yet again he has completely knocked it out of the park as far as accuracy goes loads of those kind of you know very large osteoderm like scales as well as some smaller scales all painted to perfection as you move down you've got some nice creasing and skin wrinkling there in the knee the knee itself is present there as well as a nice big bulging calf muscle beautiful muscle definition in that area as well and again you can see how the scale detail becomes really fine as you head toward the shin area and then it picks up in size a little bit as you lead back into the calf region and man the paint job of this is unreal as you get down here a little bit further i love that this kind of transitions to kind of a nice light coloration there out there at the tip again some more really smooth transitions between colors and then as you lead down here into the foot you've got a nice long line of scoots that kind of run down the front of the leg down into the foot and then the foot sculpt itself is really beautifully done you've again got the nails painted just like you saw up there on the hands with that black nice glossy black that transition to kind of like a uh, nice lighter blue really really cool looking super nice looking foot sculpt as well you know you can even see like skin wrinkles and everything in the foot sculpt as far as like the movement of the toes unbelievable quality on this figure honestly it is mind-blowing and as you lead back up here again toward the tail you can see more really nice scale detail again we continue to have that look exactly as the scorpius rex looked in camp cretaceous where we have different variations of like blacks and blues and it all highlights the scale detail beautifully as you lead out the length of the tail you see a few more osteoderms before they kind of taper away and we lead out toward the tail that transitions to a bit of a darker look for the tip of the tail just because because you have a mostly black appearance to the quills which again you have a nice cluster of quills out here on the tail 
and you can see they are everywhere. Mixture of some osteoderms as well out here with the quills. But again, Jurassic Justin has sculpted the quills out so that they're kind of erratic as far as the way they're placed, adding in just a lot of realism, I think, to the figure. And then you can run down here along the underside again and see how super beautiful looking the paint application as well as the sculpt work is here running along the underside of our Scorpius Rex. It's getting a little close to the feet right there, but... Man, look at how beautiful that detailing is. And the articulation is incredibly smooth. And then as you look at the other side, again, you're not really going to see too much difference over here, being that it is a completely poseable figure. It's all up to you to pose it and display it how you would like. So there's not really going to be too much difference over here that we didn't already see on the initial side. Kind of pull the limbs out of the way there, again, to give you an idea of what the stomach region and everything looks like. It is so perfect as far as the way the Scorpius Rex looks in the Camp Cretaceous show. It is honestly unbelievable. It is few and far between that I get a figure in my hands that is as impressive as this because this is definitely one of the single most beautiful figures that I have ever seen. And if I wasn't hyped before for everything that Jurassic Justin's going to be releasing in the future, boy, will I tell you I am beyond hyped now. This Scorpius Rex is just, man, breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. And then again, we have our base where you can see that we have the When Dinosaurs Rolled the Earth banner all crumpled, very dirty, and he has done a very good job of giving it that dirty type of a look. Like, it looks absolutely like it's been laying around for years before anybody decided to stumble in here and find it. So he has perfectly weathered it and given it, again, that exact type of a look like you saw in Camp Cretaceous. And yet again, we have the floor of the visitor center as well, but you also have kind of some of the dirt and stuff and like the moss and everything that has now run into the visitor center yet again exactly how it was displayed in camp cretaceous and i love how good jurassic justin is at really capturing all of the fine details and again just creating something that looks like you literally just took it straight from the show like i reached in the tv pulled it out and here it is for us to have and own again perfect base for a perfect release for the scorpius rex and then, of course, with your Jurassic Justin figure, just like with the Dimetrodon, you have a ton of articulation. So we already saw that we have the articulated jaw, which you can see opens really wide. You could definitely get a very menacing type of a pose out of that jaw right there, and it works perfect. You can see you can open it to different distances, and it stays there exactly as it should. So he has completely mastered the articulated jaw, but not just the articulated jaw, because as we move back here along the body you can see that we have some really nice mobility with the neck so you've got a nice area right here to articulate it you also have an area right here to articulate it so you have two spots in the neck and it has that kind of wire type of a feel which if you saw my dimetrodon review i really suggest checking that out first of all because that is an amazing figure as well but he had this same style of articulation with the dimetrodon where we have kind of a wire which allows some super super smooth articulation and i love that no matter where you turn the head and neck like it looks super nice like it doesn't ever look out of place it doesn't ever look awkward the seam lines are almost invisible i would say like i really don't notice them he's so good at articulating his figures and then we also have the articulation here in the shoulder area as well as the elbow and you can see you can extend it really far so you can definitely get a nice length on that arm right there and it's again super super smooth and you can also swivel the shoulder as well so you can really get a lot of mobility in that shoulder wherever you would like to go with it and then of course the wrist also can swivel move very nicely and also can move up and down again incredible incredible articulation definitely some of the best articulation i've ever seen you also have the midsection right here so you can kind of move that area also up and down so you can kind of articulate him so that he's like you know leaning down or up again super super cool articulation on this figure you also have the hip articulation moves very smoothly again also on a swivel so you can really create some pretty interesting poses for your scorpius rex you've also got the knee articulation which works very nicely and what's always so impressive to me about jurassic justin's figures is how smooth the articulation is straight out of the box like sometimes you'll get figures that are a little stiff and you kind of have to wear them in that is never the case with a jurassic justin release they're always super smooth straight out of the box you can also see we have articulation right here 
So you can again articulate that area. Oh, I caught it on the other foot right there. But you can again articulate that area really, really nicely. And you also have articulation right here. So you can articulate the foot. You can completely turn it around if you would choose to. And then, of course, you can push it down and then push it up. So you can give it that menacing, you know, we're going to attack with the sickle claw type of a look. And then as we continue to move along, you have articulation all throughout the tail in a number of different areas. So you can see, first of all, straight here at the, you know, body leading into the tail, you've got a really nice area of articulation there. Then right here where you can also move it. And then as we continue to move along, we've got another one right here and then another one right here. And then another one right there, as well as one more out here at the tip of the tail with a dagger-like tail that we have, the dagger-like tip of the tail. So a ton of articulation, and as you can see, you can create some really cool poses for the tail and display it wherever you would like it to go. It stays perfectly. So to say that Jurassic Justin has mastered the art of articulation would be putting it mildly. Not only has he mastered it, he may have created the best articulation that I have ever seen on an articulated figure. And as you can see, our Scorpius Rex can stand independently. It doesn't necessarily need the rod. I'm sure the rod will help, but we do have the rod again that you could stick into the stomach, put into the base to help it stand up if you would choose to do it that way. But for a size, so when we've got the tail extended pretty far, we have it kind of standing upright, even though I just knocked it over now that I bumped it with this. But for a length, you were looking at about, I would say, 17 and a quarter inches or right around 40, I'd say about 44 centimeters roughly. And then for a height, when it's really standing quite upright here, you're looking at about nine and a quarter inches or around the 23 and a half centimeter area. That was a little hard to get all the way out there to measure that for some reason. But for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack, Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Jurassic Justin Scorpius Rex. And you can see that the Scorpius Rex completely towers over all of these other figures like... There is no comparison. The Scorpius Rex is quite huge, especially, you know, as far as this adult version goes. It is definitely a very, very impressive size. But for another size comparison, there is the Slash and Battle Scorpius Rex from Mattel on the left next to the Scorpius Rex from Jurassic Justin here on the right. And you can see that there is no comparison when it comes to quality and screen accuracy Jurassic Justin wins this round every time as well as pretty much everything else when it comes to like the coloration the paint application the sculpt the articulation Jurassic Justin wins everything there but you can definitely see that it's a fairly similar size to the Scorpius Rex from Mattel but I think the Jurassic Justin version is definitely a little bit longer just the Mattel version might have like a bulkier head a slightly bulkier body but the Mattel version's head and everything isn't exactly accurate to what you see on the show but for another size comparison there is the multi-pack version of the Scorpius Rex the smaller version that uh, was found at Target most times here in the United States and you can see again that it's not even remotely close to as nice as the Jurassic Justin version and it's also quite a bit smaller than the Jurassic Justin version. And then for another comparison, we have the basic version of the Scorpius Rex from Mattel next to Jurassic Justin's version. And yet again, Jurassic Justin wins every one of the rounds when it comes to a competition against the Mattel version. The Mattel version here, as far as the basic one though, I feel like looks okay. Like it's fairly close to what the Scorpius Rex looks like in Camp Cretaceous, but obviously not near as nice or near as accurate as the Jurassic Justin version yet again. And then for a few random comparisons, there is a Mattel Velociraptor next to the Scorpius Rex. We also have a Mattel Monolophosaurus next to our Scorpius Rex. Yet again, you can see that the Scorpius towers over all of these. A Kenner Young Rex. Yet again, the Scorpius is massively larger than that figure. We also have a Collect a Dimetrodon here next to the Scorpius Rex. Again, the Scorpius is much larger than I was actually expecting it to be. Insanely impressive. There is a Chap May Dimetrodon next to our Scorpius Rex. Apparently, I've got a few different Dimetrodon figures over here, but I don't have the Jurassic Justin Dimetrodon out. I put that one back in the packaging because that's the way I like to keep it because I love the box and everything for that. But for one more comparison, 
There is a, it's not standing right, but there is a Roar Attack version of Bumpy, who also appeared in Camp Cretaceous next to our adult version of the Scorpius Rex from Jurassic Justin. So hopefully, at least one of these figures you might have had and will have a pretty good idea as far as what the size is of this Scorpius Rex. So this brand new Jurassic Justin Cinema Collection Scorpius Rex, the adult version, is pretty much as magical as a dinosaur figure can get. If you are a fan of Camp Cretaceous, this is the ultimate Scorpius Rex. It does not get any better than this. It never probably will get better than this. This thing is just amazing all around. And it's a dinosaur that I feel like we won't see very much of in figure or model form moving forward because... You know, of course, in Camp Cretaceous, it's now a thing of the past, so we won't really be seeing this probably much anymore. So it's so cool that Jurassic Justin went ahead and created this and uh, brought to life the Scorpius Rex, something that I feel like will probably be one of the most underrated villains in the Jurassic franchise because it was limited to only Camp Cretaceous. But again, he has made this figure so perfect brought it to life so perfectly it is ridiculous the sculpt is super highly detailed like potentially even better than the dimetrodon like i i mean it's a tough thing to say that because that dimetrodon was absolutely amazing but looking at this scorpius rex again the detail is unreal on this figure he has captured every ounce of sculpt and detail that would be on the scorpius rex or was on the scorpius rex in camp cretaceous and applied it perfectly to this figure and he's done a fantastic job on top of adding in all of that beautiful detail of painting it he has done such a good job on really highlighting how good his sculpt is with the paint application he's very good at this he really does a great job of adding in kind of like washes and dry brushing techniques and everything to really highlight all of the details so the sculpt is impressive enough but then he adds his amazing paintwork to it to really iron out how impressive his sculpt is and then the figure honestly just becomes twice as mind-blowing. And then when you take all of that and you add it into the insane amounts of articulation that works so smoothly and so perfectly, this figure just instantly climbs to the top, in my opinion, of the greatest Jurassic collectibles that have ever been released. Like, there's just insane amounts of articulation, picture-perfect sculpts, beautiful picture-perfect paint jobs. Like, he is creating the total package when it comes to his figures, and this, again, is exactly that, the total package. He also has a beautiful base that goes with the Scorpius Rex, with that really cool throwback to that scene in Camp Cretaceous where the Scorpius is inside the visitor center, the long-abandoned visitor center, and again, it looks wet it looks dirty exactly like it looks in the show so he honestly couldn't have created a more perfect base for this figure than he already has here and the combination of everything together in my opinion is easily one of the best figures that i have in my collection and now definitely one of my prized possessions so this was released once on etsy from jurassic justin it's actually going to be going up again he was creating this as a very limited edition he had an initial run i think of like 25 or somewhere around that area he's going to do one more run of this figure in the future and put those up on his etsy shop as well i of course will let you guys know when this is going to go up for sale yet again on his Etsy shop so you can grab one right away for yourself if you are interested and then of course the sub adult will follow as well which I'm really looking forward to that so if you are interested in this again I will add links in the description to Jurassic Justin on Instagram as well as his Etsy shop and any other forms of social media that he has where you can follow along with Jurassic Justin to make sure that you stay up to date on everything that he is creating and producing as well as again you know, also have the jump start on anybody else that might be interested in knowing when he's going to be releasing stuff because he always updates you on his social media outlets. So make sure you check the link again. Follow Jurassic Justin on all of his social media outlets as well as try your best to get your hands on this Scorpius Rex when the second wave goes up because trust me, you will not regret that. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.